What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin where I post every Tuesdays and Friday guys. So guys today if you guys have been following my video I ended up buying this pickup. I'll show you guys the pickup a little bit better right here guys. It's a 2003 Chevy Silverado 2500. It's got the LB7 Duramax diesel on it. guys the only one missing component if you guys love music you guys already know this and I love music myself and so I ended up getting some new speakers that I'm gonna be installing as well as a new radio guys a double din the original radio on this vehicle is this old looking radio over here guys with all these buttons even I think uh, some of them no this one doesn't have a cassette player at least but guys it still has a CD player which is not something that I use today I'm gonna be installing all of these four speakers on all four doors there's six and a half I these I'm, I'm running uh, the kickers and in the front I'm gonna be running some uh, JVC's because uh, I'm just missing two rears and I, I'm not gonna be like pairing them up and I'm not gonna be looking for two new kickers I'm just gonna use what I have at least for now but guys I also ended up getting myself an amplifier but guys I am not too like uh, you can say I'm not a professional installing audio car installations or anything like that I've never installed anything with an amplifier the most I've done guys is install just a radio on a like an aftermarket radio on two of my Volkswagens that I had before also guys one cool feature about this double din radio over here guys is that it has Apple CarPlay which is a feature that I was actually looking at getting when I was looking into getting a double din or aftermarket radio I was first gonna go with a single din but then guys as soon as I saw that this one had Apple CarPlay and I got it for a really good deal only around $200 Canadian for that radio as Apple CarPlay as Android uh, auto and everything like that so I'm really just intrigued to see you know just spice up the things a little bit here and there and then finally finally guys put this uh, trimming that I have over here guys for it can complete the dash of the vehicle a little bit better but guys if you guys are new to this channel make sure you smash and hit the subscribe button guys and if you guys are new or have you guys are subscribed and you guys are not getting any of the new videos that I'm posting out twice a week or sometimes even once a week guys it just depends on how busy I am that week but guys if you guys are subscribed make sure you turn on this post notification bell I have my uh, technician coming in right now in the BMW guys M3 <laughs> I got my technician over here uh, Uber? Yeah Uber uh, Is this uh, S class? Uh, it's a C class C class So guys I think you guys I think you guys have seen this one before in the vlog It's very very nice guys It's a 2018 right? 2018? What's that? This is 2018? Uh, no, 2017. 2017, guys. It's a pre-LCI. Pre 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 unfortunately, he... he uh, it's not a Ferrari. It's not a Ferrari. <laughs> but guys, um, I heard that the new M3, guys, if you guys are into cars, the new M3, I think the 2021? 2021, uh, first year, so 2021 will be uh, rear wheel drive, 2022 will be X drive. Guys, imagine an M3. I think that's the first M3 that's gonna be all wheel first drive. One, yeah. It'll be based off the M5 X drive system. And you guys already know, if you guys are car guys, the M5s are absolute beasts when it comes to any cars. What does it pull, uh, like, uh, compared to like a Mercedes, it would be like a uh like what would be the competitors for m5s for m5 would be the e63s the e63s guys which is absolute um you know i think when you want to get like a classic but sporty vehicle the i think mercedes does a really good job for that yeah definitely and then if you want something that's like track like brutal brutal get a bmw guys uh both have pros and cons i would imagine absolutely mercedes for comfort bmw for handling and what's your next car? Oof. Maybe RS6, maybe E63, maybe GT63, I'm not sure. Before this car, he was actually planning on getting an RS7, which, he, have you driven yet? I haven't, no. He hasn't seven. driven, guys, and I ended up driving it because I used to work at a tire shop, and uh, I had to put a tires on a new, uh, it was a, a 2016, I think, RS7. But guys, it drove like an absolute beast.
All right guys, so in the previous clip, as you guys can see, I was drilling in these holes um, so I can put in this bolt through here and that will basically be holding on to the speaker that I'm gonna be installing. I got these speakers for like 70 bucks for the pair, so they're JVS. No, JVS, JVC guys. All right guys, so it's already almost six o'clock guys and everything's taking a bit longer because I had to go to Home Depot to get a few things for this project. But guys, as well, I ended up taking out the speakers once again. I showed you them, I think, when they were installed. If I did not, I will show you after this clip when they are installed. So guys, currently what I'm doing is I'm feeding all of the wires directly from the speaker. So imagine the speaker, basically this is the speaker right here. Imagine the speaker being around there and then being connected down below wires running directly from here and going through this tunnel and then it's gonna come out from here and then I'm gonna have to run it across all the way basically all the way around here all the way to the back and to the end of that terminal guys or the channel although the back doors were a little bit more difficult to do the setup just because of the way everything is but it was not impossible over here I had to run everything across here and going all the way to the back so guys once everything is installed I'll show you guys the speakers once again and let me get back to you and let me get back to work a few hours later and I got everything basically installed uh, right there as well as over here guys so that's how the speakers are looking at at the moment but guys I think I'm gonna finish not the vlog here yet but I think I'm just gonna finish the, working on the truck right here around now because it's almost seven o'clock guys and I'm gonna go eat something and then I gotta go work out and then I still got to study a little bit more for what I'm doing in real estate and then this Monday guys this Monday I start school once again which is back to the grind again in school and then I won't have any time left another thing guys is we had the electrician come yesterday and put electricity on our shed the other shed that because we have two sheds the one over there is being used for the gym currently so we have one light at the moment I have to buy another light so I'm gonna buy two LED lights so it's gonna be nice and bright over here and we have uh, power over there and a power outlet over here as well as another power outlet over here for the compressor so guys whenever I want to work on my car or do anything that we need a compressor in it's really really easy to access to but guys I'm gonna try to put everything back together now you know just clean up and whatnot and once I'm done cleaning up I'm gonna go eat something and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna eat before working out guys I ended up actually eating one of these Larry and Lenny's or Lenny and Larry's complete cookie guys. It's a it has 16 grams of protein Maybe it is a actually it's pretty good to eat it after or before you work out guys since you want that energy But guys if you're really hungry, I would suggest maybe not eating this although the cookies are big But eat something more like you know dance food something that will actually fill you up more than just a simple cookie It's a long day. I did get some stuff done and I got some things clarified um, But I think I'm pretty much done working on the truck for today at least if i need some bass i might be installing an amplifier i have an amplifier over here i mean not an amplifier a subwoofer guys i have a subwoofer over here which is around there one thing guys i just will change the topic i just want to show you guys this little um bicycle that i used to ride when i was like i was like maybe two or three i don't even know but guys i still have it in memory and it's everything's intact which is like surprising i don't know if you guys can see it right there the handlebars guys and now from there from basically that a few years later guys i'm driving cars now so it just comes to see that you know you grow up really really fast guys so you know if you're watching this and you're even 10 15 guys compared to myself uh 15 year old like feels so much younger and i'm in my i'm 21 and i can imagine like someone who's in their 30s to be looking at me like i'm so young but guys just try to do as much as you can guys today and just do it with all you guys can with all you can and enjoy the moment guys enjoy the day enjoy your youth enjoy every part in your life whether in your 40s 50s 60s 70s guys try to enjoy as much as you can of it because you don't know when you might have to leave guys all right guys so i'm over here i went to pick up brenda at her house and we're gonna go work out so i'll see you when i'm gonna work out once again guys today is back day and show the 
shoulder day guys and a little bit of biceps so hopefully you guys are getting back into the rhythm once again and working out every single day if not every single day guys three times a week maybe twice a week whatever it is guys just try to get a little bit of exercise I'm finally coming to the end of the day and we're finally doing some back. As you guys saw, I was doing some lap pull downs. So guys, I'm gonna continue my workout. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. And if you guys want any pointers, comment down below how you're, you know, what you're doing, if you guys worked out today. If you guys need any help, uh, a little bit like a fitness instructions down below, anything like to do with fitness or the gym, comment down below if you guys need any help. There's like YouTube, YouTube channels that have so many followers, but sometimes, you know, maybe it's hard to get a, a come across that. But if you have any doubts or insecurities of the gym, guys, just Google it, guys. There's so much information. That's how I even learned like five years ago. And I can imagine now there's so much more information out there. But guys, I'm gonna continue doing this back workout and as well doing some shoulders. So guys, I'll see you guys in the next clip. guys so it's one o'clock in the morning and I'm feeling really tired I just took a shower and I just dropped off my girlfriend um, so guys I'm gonna end the vlog over here uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog and if you guys did make sure you drop a like button and guys make sure if you guys are new if you guys are new make sure you smash the subscribe button if you guys are returning subscribers returning followers thank you so much once again for watching my videos on a weekly basis I really 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 appreciate it any other videos you guys would love to see make sure you comment down below guys and leave the comments down below guys and make sure that everything you guys are doing every single day you're doing with all you guys can and make sure you're trying to learn everything uh, or at least something new every single day so with that being said guys make sure you stay humble stay strong and stay happy guys and i'll see you guys in the next video